Hi, today we'll see how to capture SOAP calls to and from a vCenter server using Snap Manager for Virtual Infrastructure and Virtual Storage Console for VMware. This video is a part of KB1011824. In the first part of the video, we'll see how to capture the communication between vCenter server and SMVI. On a Windows host which has SMVI installed, let's navigate to the installation folder and then to the etc folder. Typically this is C, Program Files x86, NetApp, SMVI, Server and then the etc folder. Locate the smvi.override file and open it with a text editor like Notepad. In case the file is missing, you can always create a blank file using a text editor and then rename it to smvi.override. Let's add the following line into this file. Please make sure that you only add the following line and do not change or delete anything else that's already there. Let's save the file and exit out of the window. We'll now navigate to the Windows Services Console. In the list of services, let's locate the Snap Manager VI service. Right click on it and use the restart option. It will take a few seconds for the service to restart. Once it restarts successfully, in order to make sure that the logging is being captured, let's go to the log folder in the server folder in the SMVI directory. the logging would be done in the server.log file. In the second part of the video we'll see how to capture the communication between virtual storage console for VMware and the vCenter server. On a Windows host which has VSC installed, let's navigate to the installation folder. This typically would be C, program files, NetApp, virtual storage console, SMVI, server, and then the etc folder. Open the smvi.override file with a text editor. In case the file is missing, it can be created as a blank new file and then renamed to smvi.override. We'll now go ahead and add this line to the file. Please make sure that you do not change or delete anything else that's already present. We'll now save the file and exit out of the window. We'll now navigate to the Windows Services Console. In the list of services, we are actually looking for something called NetApp Snap Manager for Virtual Infrastructure. Right click on it and use the restart option. It will take a few seconds to restart. Once it restarts successfully, we can go back to the log folder the logs would be captured in the server.log file. Hope this video is helpful. Thank you.